All right, now I'll show you how to record some custom animation. So as you can see, we've got the three outputs here. Output one, its behavior is determined by the output one mode in the initial setup steps. These two can be customized. By default, if you have no custom animation programmed, this output will indicate the pass fail of the puzzle. This indicates the fail status. So right now the puzzle has not been solved. It's in a failed state, so the red output is on. So if we solve it, pass light comes on, auto reset is enabled, so the puzzle automatically resets itself, and we're back to the failed status, waiting for them to solve it again. Now let's say we want to have something a little more interesting happen when they solve the puzzle. So what you have to do is you get, get your quick start guide out. It tells you to hold the record button for a few seconds until it turns blue. Now you can move a little light back and forth. Success is number six. So I'm going to move the light over to number six and then let go. When I hit record, I'm going to hear the success sound play. And at that point, I can start animating both of these outputs. So we can hit the three button to play that back. So instead of the light just coming on, it blinks. So now to get back to the puzzle, try that in the context of solving the puzzle. Just hold three for a few seconds. Puzzle has started. I'll solve the puzzle. And there you go. You can see that it's played our custom animation. Now let's say you want something happening during the game. Maybe you want a red light blinking during the game. So what we'll do is we'll program some animation into the game loop. So game loop is number four. So I'll select number four and let go. Now when I hit record, there's no sound during the game, so we're not going to hear anything. If, if there was ambient sound on your SD card, you would hear that start playing. And we'll just flash this output. All right, so that's it. Restart the puzzle. We'll hold that for a few seconds. And the game loop is playing. So it'll loop that animation indefinitely until the puzzle is solved or failed, one or the other. If we solve it, all right, simple as that. So I'll show you one last trick. If you want to keep an output on, let's say, for example, you wanted when the game starts running for this output to come on and stay on, and then when they solve it for it to turn off. So I'll go back to the game loop. It's number four. So if you hold, if you are holding the button before you start recording and also holding it when you stop recording, you'll get a continuous loop of that output being on with nothing, like no pulses of, of it turning off at all. So if, if you play it back, you'll just see it's on for a few seconds. Okay, but that animation is going to loop, so when we play that back, you'll see that light, that light just stays on continuously. So when, now let's say we want, when they solve the puzzle, for that light to turn off for a second. Maybe we're, we're resetting something or doing something else. So I'm going to go to the success, number six. So I'll hold one again when we hit record. Now I'll let go. We can flash it if we want, then turn it back on. All right, so now what I just did is when the game is running, that green light will be on. When they succeed, that light will still be on until the sound finishes, and then it will flash a bit, right? So we can preview it here. Light turns off, it flashes a bit. So let's restart the puzzle, solve it, you can see, well, we'll let it stay for a little bit. You can see the light just stays on. It doesn't blink when at the looping point or anything. It's just on solid. Now it flashes. All right. 
Lastly, there's also the miss animation, which is number five, and the failed animation. We'll just show you, I'll show you missed here. So missed is whenever they, the timeout, the key timeout expires, or if they enter the wrong four buttons. So I'll hit record, you'll hear our, burr, our buzzer sound. All right, so we'll do something with output three here. There we go, so we'll hit play. That looks good, so let's test it out. So if we do, we let it time out. Plays our animation and our sound. Same thing if you type the wrong four inputs. So that's basically it. So again, if any of the scenes have animation in them, the default behavior will be overridden. If you want to see which scenes have animation, you can power it down, power it back up. And during boot, when this red light turns on above the record button, the scenes that have animation will be lit. So you saw there it was four, five, and six. So that's how you know which ones have animation. So if you want to delete them, if you want to delete any animation, just pick your scene. So let's say we wanted to delete the success animation. So we would go to six, I'm letting go, and all you do is just tap record quickly. That's it. That deletes the animation. You'll still have a sound playback if you have sound, but that deletes the custom animation. That's basically it on how to record your own animation.